Hi everyone, it's Linda. Um, here is the last of the Yay Fab Journal Collab page. So I thought I'd see if I can tape a shortish <laughs> work with me. Okay, so this is in the second signature, signature even though that doesn't really matter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a banner over here. I'm going to top it with one of these three punch two inch circles just to give it some different dimension or you know different to look at so I was debating what which one to use I think I decided on that pinkish one um, maybe that's too similar there's always these are always good ones too um, green maybe uh, sorry I did okay you know what or maybe it was this green okay so what I'll do is I'll stick with that because you don't need to see me decide that for five minutes oh and because it's flimsy I'm going to take one of these uh, oh I do <laughs> I did have I did have a bunch of page pages you know what I can do a quick punch out Oh, hello, Ella. Let's do a quick page punch. And then, uh... Sorry. Sorry about that. I was trying to be all on top of things, you know. Okay. So. I'll try and, uh... Because it's... I'll try and, like, stiffen it up. Um, I know it looks weird right now. It doesn't look like anything. I'll try and stiffen it up with that backing. Okay, so let me get rid of these boxes. Okay. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. So I've, I've pre-punched these two. And I just tore them, but, I, but now it doesn't matter because I'm going to be covering them up. So I want three. I want three somehow figure out how to do three banners. So I'm going to punch this. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I don't have COVID. I just have this weird tickle that I've had this years before. You can ask my coworkers. I'm surprised they didn't kill me. Anyway, makes me cough. And then I'm, I'm stuffed up for a little bit after. And then it'll happen again. I don't know what sets it off. It could be allergies. Anyway. So I have this washi chomper. So you set it to the width. It's supposed to be an inch, but I think these are maybe slightly under an inch. And no, oh, maybe it is an inch. So this is to center, and that's the biggest size you can put in here is an inch to help cut um, the the banner. Now let's see if this will work because. Oh, I didn't go far down <laughs> enough. Whoops. Hang on, let me get my stiletto. All right. That was me. It doesn't really matter. There, you barely have to push it. See, isn't that pretty? And then this was a, of course I bought it at Michael's with, a, with the um, coupon months ago. And you store it, you can pull this out and then it sort of locks it even though half the time I don't know if it's open or closed. Anyway, it's a washi chomper. I don't chomp washi, I just chomp little banners. Because I do have a banner punch board, but it's more for bigger ones. Okay, so, so here we go. I have these three. Something like that. I don't, I don't know, maybe something like that, right? So, before I do anything though, I'm gonna ink. So you get to watch me ink today. Excuse me. Um. So apparently I now have 101 subscribers as of the recording of this video. So I'm going to do a giveaway. Now, I don't, I'm not going to put that in the title because I, because they say there are people who like 
are always looking for giveaways and then they um, enter even though they're not subscribers and they don't come back they just want to win free stuff which I you know on one hand oh okay I get but on the other well why should they win so people say don't mention that in your title or the comments <clears throat> so all I'm gonna ask uh, I'm gonna assume everyone who watches is a subscriber and if they're not they may become one or whatever I don't care I'm gonna give away one of my journals so I'll show you that at the end there actually is a video on the journal and I will put that as a link to show you to remind you if you want to watch it again but um, yeah decide I'm, and probably a notebook as well but uh, all I'm asking for you to do is in a comment below just tell me what the weather is like for you today the day you watch this and then I will draw a name I guess next weekend sometime probably Saturday maybe Sunday but I'll give it a week. Um, yeah, because this is very exciting. I didn't like. I'm very thrilled about it. Okay, so I guess thinking too much about this. I can just tear that because it's going to be covered up anyway. Ugh, it's taking me sorry. I shouldn't be spending so much time on this even two is really enough right but I just go and had to do the third so what I'm gonna do is that's gonna be covered up anyway I'm going to staple it sorry um, now Here's my little stapler set. This is a, a staple remover that I got from work. And um, one day there was like, I don't know, we all had like, we were all suddenly nervous about being let go. And this was way before COVID. So I brought this home because I thought, you can't order these anymore, I don't think. It's one of the best things ever. But I do have a regular, what I call Jaws of Life downstairs with our regular stapler. Anyway, I bought this at Dollarama, right? This set bought extra staples colored ones but before I thought to do that or I had it and forgot about it I ordered this set from we are memory keepers for like nine dollars like what the heck was I thinking however they were so late in showing up that I requested a refund and I got it so this is free <clears throat> anyway so now that I bored you with that let's just staple this okay and now <clears throat> Excuse me, I should have stapled it the other way. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's going to be glued down anyway. Let's ink this. Sorry, I, I don't mean to. Sometimes you drift off camera and don't realize it because I can't see my screen. Okay, let's move this stapler out of the way. I'm done with that for now. Okay, now I'm going to glue. Here's the the beacon one try and do this on screen like video yeah so a um, hundred like yay Linda um, it's now I'm not a big creator of ideas I just more do ideas that I've seen but right now I'm in a slump I can't think of or nothing's catching my eye to, other than halls to watch. So, so we're gonna stick that up there. So I feel like I'm in a slump, but it doesn't matter. It'll, it, <clears throat> you know how it is. They come back. So what'll happen is this will be glued down, about there, and then <clears throat> while that's drying here you can see like the shape of the stapler that's funny or even looks a bit crooked that's fine whatever <coughs> excuse me see stupid cough slash stuffiness drives me crazy all right so I'm just gonna 
lightly ink that up. And I'm just throwing this on as is. I'm not throwing anything else to it. Um, it's more to look at. If somebody really wanted to write on it, they could probably just glue a piece of paper on to one of the sides. And then that should be... Oh, it's not working as well as I thought. Huh. Alright, maybe that's more for decoration then. So maybe instead... Uh-oh. Are you out of camera? Let me see if I can see it. Okay, I think you're okay. Alright. So, maybe what I'll do... Darn it. I don't know why that's not working. It should be a tech spot. You know? Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's leave that for now. So the other thing I want to do is put a bit of background stenciling very lightly. So this has like a, a repositionable adhesive, so I just lightly Dummy. So you can faintly see that. And then we'll go up here. Move that out of the way. Oh, stop that. There we go. So yeah, 100. Woohoo. Yeah, maybe one day I'll start thinking of more and more, or I'll have more time because I don't work on. I don't really play in the craft room during the week. Once in a while I might, but it's just hard when you're supposed to be working. And whether I'm busy or not, see, there we go. I don't want to get into the habit of playing in here because then 10 minutes turns into, you know, half an hour to an hour and etc. I'm supposed to be working. So I don't want to, when we do have to go back to the office, I don't want to ruin the fact that maybe I can you know, work from home a day or two or more a week permanently. That would be wonderful. Okay. Anyway, so this is a tea bag. I ordered, I ordered one size, which was a skinnier, longer size. And Maggie found, or she ordered me, she ordered some or found some for me, and I ordered some online. Because suddenly, it was very hard to find. They were apparently once for sale at Dollarama, but you know that. Not anymore. Not when I was looking. So I'm going to edge this because it was getting hard to see on the page. And the other thing I want to do is I want to cover this up. So I belong in one of the Facebook pages I belong to is the Foxy Crafters, the Tracy Fox page. And she posted a freebie from... Artie Mays. I don't usually, I rarely print digitals and I've never bought any digitals. Um, be, frankly, mainly because ink is so bloody expensive up here. Maybe everywhere else in the world it is, but to me it's just so expensive it's not worth it. However, once in a while I will print the odd thing. Um, so I printed this page and I cut them out. And so I'm going to attach these to that to cover up the square. And I just wanted to show you there was other little, this is what I wanted, this is why I printed it out, these little tiny cards. I printed out the page, glued it to a coffee dyed sheet, and then I cut them out when it was dry. So I just thought they were cute little cards to put in as ephemera. And then there were more circles, but these are the two that I chose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first glue the first one on. I'm going to um, ink it after. Oh, sorry, did I get that? Oh gosh, I hope I'm in screen. I'll try and see. So, I'll go like this. I'm going to go like that and try and cover the tip. So that way, I now know, give it a second to dry. Let me just check on the video. Yeah, I think I'm on screen enough. On frame, I mean. 
<clears throat> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim around to get rid of bright orange and then glue the other one on. That's orange, wouldn't you say? All right. Get rid of that and that. Okay. And then glue this guy. Do, do, do. Like that. There. So now we have a cute little hanging thing. I've done something like this where I use circles, or I think I used two, um, a, like, pretty much symmetrical butterflies, two little butterfly ones, and use that on another tea bag thing. So as you can see, my fussy cut skills aren't as good as they used to be when I was younger, but it's fine supposed to be handmade, right? It's a junk journal in theory. Okay, so now we have that. And so I'm gonna glue this down. Now the last time I was gluing down a tea bag, I had a hard time of it. Or was it the glassine bag? Maybe it was a glassine bag. Okay, never mind. This should be fine, but I don't want it to um, seep through. So I'm just gonna stick this in here for a second. And I'm just going to, in fact, I'm going to use a different glue. I'll try, sorry, didn't want to come out. See if this is uh, how this is doing here. Oh, look at that, it's working. Woohoo. Now, I originally, oh shoot, I originally wanted to tuck something behind. Ah, doesn't matter. These pages will be kind of bare. Hey, stop it. See, these darn things clog up on me so easily. How does, and no one else seem to have that issue. I know it can't be empty. I hardly get to use it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, all right, whatever, that's enough. Oh, get you away from there. All right, get this here. Okay, and I am making a tag for it. I was originally making um, two, but I'll leave the other one for now. Okay, so one thing I do want to show you is this book. Remember I've showed you I got this. I was very lucky to get this book at Target when we were there. I'm going to, I guess I decided on those flowers. Um, so the alphabet at the end. See, there's, they say it's over a thousand stickers. Um, look at that peacock, huh? Dawn, huh? Would you say that's a peacock? Okay. So the backs of them have nice pages that would actually look good on the inside of a journal cover, right? They're, they're all the same. Oh, okay. How about this? Ooh, I love my purples, but maybe this one. I'll just go in the center. All right, so let's peel that. And we'll just, yeah, let's go for it. All right, that's it for that book. Now, I'm going to glue this to the back of this paper. So I'll just use this glue. So I got the idea of it. I think I first saw a tea bag done by Sabrina Oriskovich. I'm probably mispronouncing her name. It's been a while since I've um, watched her videos. I don't think she's done a new one. I think maybe a couple weeks ago. Anyway, she's very good. She's another Canadian. She's very good, has amazing ideas. And um, 
and she did a tea bag. She's the, it was her video I was watching when I did my first tea bag. So, okay. So this is now glued down. So I will. I have scissors here somewhere. Where did they go? Where did they go? Ah, they got buried. You know what? I'm not as. If I can use. Um, if I can use a cutter, paper cutter, I will. Because no matter what people say, I can't cut straight. Maybe other people can, but I can't. So I'm going to just quickly cut around. All right. There we go. So, how's that look? Much better, right? Okay. So, okay, sometimes, sometimes it isn't the best thing to do. Let me just trim that up because it got wonky. All right, even though I'm not a fan. See, to me it looks crooked already. <laughs> uh, do you see that? See how suddenly it got darker? It, earlier it did that, and I looked out this window here beside me, it's a clear blue sky, and yet it was dark out. And I look, and there's one cloud in front of the sun. Anyway, there's more clouds now. It's probably windy out there. Okay, let me straighten this out. Not sure why I didn't cut um, so straight. Sorry, I suddenly have lots of things here. All right. Um, but I do have my favorite tag punch board. So, I think I want them, do I want it in the halfway or do I want it there? See that line? That's where it's going to cut. So yeah, I guess I'll do it there. And that's the letter F. So I lay it down, F, and then I flip it over, line it the top with the F. Oh, no, I did get it. I scared myself there. No, it's fine. It's fine. All good. Okay, so there's the tag. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole. And I'm going to show you the reinforcer, reinforcement punch I have. So we'll put a hole there. Okay. And oh, everything's falling. Oh, somewhere. Where did my pin go for that thing? All right, put this here. Move it out of the way. Enforcer. I'm telling you, I bought a lot of things from Weir Memory Keepers. I'm pretty sure this is one of theirs. So instead of, um, I'm just going to use one of the scraps. Um, I don't know. I don't want to think too hard about this because, you know, I don't want to spend forever. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll use this. No, you know what, you can't see, so I just do my best to line it up. There, see, one fell out, I want another. Oh, and it worked. See, there, I do. It's always easier than I think. And then here, on the top, I'm not going to open it, but if you lift this up, it collects the, the circles. So you have a whole bunch of little, like these things, but flatter. Okay, so now I guess I can try and 
do a little bit of inking before I glue it down. I don't need to glue that uh, ink that side. All right, here we go. Da, da, da. I was trying to do the middle. Okay, so, oh yeah, are you not working for me today? Uh, let me go to the next here. This stiletto, here's the needle. This, there we go. Let's see if that helps. Ugh. This, these stilettos are the best. Maybe I'll, I'll add that to the um, giveaway. Um, not well, not this one, but I'll go dig out because I, I did make pre-make a whole bunch of them a long time ago. And the only thing is, if I mean I hope it doesn't happen, but if the the um, bead, the bottom beads, one or more come off, you can um, re-glue them. I was trying to use, I thought I used E6000, but um, but sometimes they just have a mind of their own. So there's one. Let's center that. Oh, hang on. There we go. And then just to put a little something on this side. Okay. All right. I don't want to shift it before it dries. So that will now go inside. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's just the shower. So I guess what I could make, you know what, I don't think I'm going to do anything at the moment. I think we're going to leave that as is for now. Um, I could do, maybe I could do a little cluster. Um, okay, somebody... Um, taught me the trick that if you don't want the white, you know, when you rip and you want the white, when you tear, when you tear towards you, that piece will not have the white. So see, as I tear towards me, this piece doesn't have the white, but the one left behind does. That was a cute little, um, so I feel like I'm always holding it the wrong way. <laughs> that was a cute little helpful tip. I forget who showed it to me, who mentioned it. I think it might have been this woman who goes by um, Al John, I think. I don't subscribe to her, but she, I watched a, a series she did on, a, on her own lap book. And what she did was she released um, a new video every day, like 20 something days in a row. See? It's like I'm holding it the wrong way. Um, yeah, so she's, she mentioned that. I believe she was the one. And yeah, her lap book was quite interesting, and I, and I enjoyed watching the videos. Okay, so let's get a little bit of lace. And maybe we'll dig out the antiquarian book again and see if there's just a little flower I can, um, I can add. Okay. Fabric scissors. Go back so I don't cut, cut paper with them. Ah. You know how the whole world will collapse if you do that. Okay, so let me just snip it back, grab the book, and I'll just look for a little, maybe a ladybug. What do you think? What was I going to do with this? Put it down here, maybe, just to add interest to the page. Oh, wait, I hope you can see this. I'm sorry, I finally moved you again. Um, I can't, it can't be too big. I think I'll just do the ladybug. Oh, and speaking of that, I found one in the house yesterday, but I don't know if it was dead. Like, it didn't seem to try and do anything. 
flushed it. I'm sorry, I don't care what people say. Because I had we had that invasion, or we just seem to have a lot of the ones that were orange. And you think, oh, an orange ladybug, what? Those are the ones that bite. <laughs> so it's like, what? That's what I found out. No, it didn't bite me, but I didn't want to find out that way. Okay, so go like that. And then do another bit of the fabric. And that's probably enough to go through there. To go through this guy. No, I didn't really do any inking. I don't think you can really see it anyway. All right. So I'm just going to attach that down there. Because I feel bad that my postcard isn't... Um, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. And I could still add, eventually, over time, I could add another sticker up there. Or a flower. Whether it's a sticker or not. Or some rhinestones. And so that's my final page. And that just leaves writing space. Right? And yes, I screwed up and glued that wrong. But whatever. It's fine. So, okay. So that's my final page. And like I said, I'm not going to bother doing any more um, journal idea pages specifically because I'll just, I'll probably just, I'm not, I'll probably just put it aside. And then as I do something in another journal, and I haven't done it in here, then I'll also copy it and do it quickly in here at the, at the same time. For now, this is just a constant work in progress. I actually have a drawer, an empty drawer I can put this in, this in all its little bits so that I can pull it out when necessary. Okay, so that's my page, right? Isn't that cute? So it's more for writing this time. Okay, so that was that. Now, this is the journal I'm gonna give away. The cover is for just over four and a half by just over six and a half. So it's probably like four by six in there. Um, oh, I'll have to figure it. I'll have to do a better clip. I was just using an earring clip to, this is the dangle. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the, here's the dangle. I'll better put a better clip on, okay. And that's one of the bigger, Thank you, Tina Up. That was one of the bigger um, hangers that I was able to order. But I wish that there was one in between. And I should have used a smaller one, but that, I just was so I was so happy to get the big ones. I, I splurged and used that. This is um, a book plate idea. I forget from who, but this is actually covered. You can't see this fabric. It's covering a piece of thin chipboard, and then I just did some layers, and then you can write what you want. Um, there's the back. Now, there is a video on this, so I'll just go quickly. There's the front with the pocket. Some interesting papers that was run through an embosser. This flips up, but it does have stuff inside. Now, I don't think there's magnets in these. No, there might, if there is, I'll try and let you know, because some people can't be near magnets. Um, there's a Franken page tag. That was from those vintage cards that I found in um, Walgreens in the States. And this is one of the Rita Donnelly flips paper. Inter interesting. Now these are my handmade ones before I got my punch. So this is uh, from Tre Natasha at Treasure Book. Shows you how to make these. So you can move it. It, it, it holds nicely and you can move it around, right? To wherever you want. Um, there's the other side, more stuff in there. I don't want to take out everything because there is a video on this. Um, there's a, a film strip that was part of a... F yeah, I, 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 sent, I sent you a note or a link, or I sent you a link about this, and I think in one of your comments, Tina Epp, about how I ordered this, my cutout. I think it was that. 
that and also it was two pieces it was like they're like 12 inches long and or longer and one was a film strip and one was tickets anyway i got it from aliexpress so some, look in one of your comments i added something there okay so and that's just a flip for interest it's a paper clip more papers more embossing sew that on Papers. I think there's three signatures in here. And as oh wait, that has a magnet. Okay, so there is a magnet closure in here. If that's an issue, let me know. Probably. Um, give you another journal, but there's an, that's another flip up. But that might be kind of hard to write on because of these lumpy guys. I love these ones. I just love the paper, I guess, that I ended up having. And there's another one of the vintage cards. I like, I bought a couple bags of, like, smallish bags of postage stamps at the flea market. I can't wait for the flea market to open again. Oh, there's a few things I want to get in there. Okay. These are Edith Holden book pages. So, another flip eggs. Isn't this a fun paper clip? It's a cat. And this one, I think it's another, doesn't feel like a magnet, but you know there's at least one in here. Just some interest, some extra tags, and some more stuff. There's another stamp. There's another fun paper clip. Paper, paper, paper. This one I ran through the embosser with the butterflies. That was the other half. Was the front half butterflies too? Yes, it was. Butterflies and dragonflies. I think it was dragonflies. Maybe not. And just some more pages. And then <laughs> this was my first attempt at um, the wax seal with my initial. And that's it. I didn't bother putting it in a pocket back here. So that's it. I don't have a name for this one. Some people have names for their journals. I don't. And yeah, if you wanted to atta attach um, a charm or something, or cut these, or maybe, I think I just, yeah, I just tied it in. So like you see what I did there? I just tied it. So if you wanted to change it up a bit or something, I don't think I did it even, even thing there even tie but anyway I love this thing I apologize that the dangle decided to fall down and I'll throw in a stiletto and I'll also throw in a notebook um, anyway so again just it would be nice if you're a subscriber comment I don't know how to check that comment below on what your weather is like today and then next Sunday Saturday or Sunday probably Sunday I will do a draw that's June 9th, uh, 7th, oh my goodness, June 7th, I will do a draw. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, thanks for the challenge, it was fun, and thanks to Bobby, Joe, and Thelma Hall, and I'll talk to you guys later, bye.